dear students good afternoon i kerana dole assistant teacher of gadadarpur high school of degree block once again welcome you all to this online mission zero a plus teaching learning program initiated by our district collector esteem bhavani shankar chain sir to improve your hsc exam result 2021 dear students in my previous class i have taught you the second grammar chapter of your english book that is types of sentences right so we have discussed what is a sentence definition of a sentence parts of a sentence types of a sentence types of simple sentences and patterns of declarative or assertive sentences and about clauses right today i am going to teach when sentence under simple sentence which is exclamatory sentence right which i could not discuss with you due to shortage of time so i will first discuss exclamatory sentence then compound sentence then complex sentence right so before going to the detailed text let's recap all the elements that we have discussed in our previous session right so in our previous session i taught you what is a sentence a sentence is a word or group of words arranged in a specified order having a complete sense or meaning right and i also discussed a sentence has two main parts one is subject part and the second is predicate part and in the subject part noun is important and in the predicate part verb is important and among the verbs or verb verb group finite verb is important without a finite verb a sentence cannot be structured or imagined right if there is only one word in a sentence it is, must be a verb right so dear students we also discussed on basing of the structure of a sentence a sentence is divided into three types right this is a types of sentences right so this is a one is simple sentences one is simple sentence right the second is compound sentence and the third is complex sentence right the sentence as per the structure of a sentence the sentence are divided into three types one is simple sentence the second is compound sentence and the third is complex sentence right so dear students we also discussed simple sentence is divided into four types one is a assertive or declarative sentence right b 
इंट्रोवेटिव सेंटेंस सी इंपोरेटिव सेंटेंस डी एक्सलामेटरी सेंटेंस राइट एक्सलामेटरी सेंटेंस राइट सो अंडर डिक्लेरेटिव सेंटेंस और एसेटिव सेंटेंस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड फाइव पैटर्न्स ऑफ फाइव पैटर्न्स ऑफ डिक्लेरेटिव सेंटेंस ओके फाइव पैटर्न्स ऑफ डिक्लेरेटिव सेंटेंस व्हाट आर दिस दिस आर वन इज सब्जेक्ट प्लस फॉर द सेकंड इज सब्जेक्ट प्लस भर प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट द थर्ड इज सब्जेक्ट प्लस भर प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट द फोर्थ इज सब्जेक्ट प्लस भर प्लस कॉम्प्लीमेंट द फिफ्थ इज सब्जेक्ट प्लस भर प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट प्लस कॉम्प्लीमेंट राइट सो इन आवर प्रीवियस पीरियड वी हैव कंप्लीटेड simple sentence and the four types of simple sentence five patterns of declarative sentence right today first we will discuss exclamatory sentence then we will discuss compound sentence then complete sentence right so let's start Exclamatory sentence, right? Exclamatory sentence, जहाँ पर हमें उड़िया रे पहुँचे, आश्चर्य बच्चों को बैठो, आश्चर्य बच्चों को बैठो. Let's understand exclamatory exclamatory sentence with some examples, right? So dear students, exclamatory Sentence, right? Ba ashtujya vacha ka vacha. Let's discuss this type of sentence with some examples, right? One is what a beautiful girl she is. Right, what a beautiful girl she is. The second is how tall the building is. Right, how tall the building is. At last, exclamation mark. Right. Look at these two examples. What a beautiful girl is. And how tall the building is are two exclamatory sentences, right? They express the certain feelings of surprise or of admiration, admiration of a person or of the speaker, right? A bhakya muni ka vyakti ra mana ra. गोटे दृढ़ भावना कार ना प्रशंसा आश्चर्य प्रशंसा एवं आश्चर्य एक दृढ़ आवेग मन भर प्रकाश करो वाक्य गुड़िक ना एक्सलामेटोरी सेन्टेन्स गुड़िक तेणु युड़ी आम कमी पढ़ा ना ह्वाइट ए ब्यूटिफुल गर्ल सी इज हाउ टल द बिल्डिंग इज झीटी कि सुंदरी अटे बिल्डिंग टी के डेगा केचा रेल सो यू सी एक्सलामेटोरी सेंटेन्स एक्सप्रेस द स्ट्रंग एंड सर्टन फिलिंग्स ऑफ सरप्राइज और एडमिरेशन ऑफ ए पर्सन और और द स्पीकर राइट सो Another thing you see, this exclamatory sentence start with what 
or how right the exclamatory sentence always start with what or how right and they ends with a exclamation mark right this is called exclamation mark jahan kuriya re koche ascharya vachak chinha and another thing you cannot make this sentence negative right tumhe hi vakya uri ko negative kari paribo nahi suppose i am ready what a beautiful girl she is not how tall the building is not ए झियटी केते सुंदर नु हो की ए बिल्डिंग दी केते ऊंचा नु हो की ए भोलिया में करि परिवार नाही राइट बट वी कैन मेक नेगेटिव ऑफ द सेंटेंस डिक्लेरेटिव सेंटेंस इंटरोगेटिव सेंटेंस और इंपरेटिव सेंटेंस बट वी कैन नॉट मेक दिस सेंटेंस टू नेगेटिव फॉर्म राइट सो another thing you see you can make this sentence to affirmative form right or assertive form suppose what a beautiful girl she is what is the affirmative affirmative form or assertive form of this sentence what a beautiful girl she is it has to be written she is very beautiful girl right she is very she is she is very beautiful girl right how tall the building is what is the affirmative form of the of this exclamatory sentence the building is very tall right the building is very tall right dear students i think now you can understand about exclamatory sentence let's discuss compound sentences right let's discuss compound sentences right so dear students before learn compound sentence let's remember about simple sentences which i have already taught in your previous session right so dear student you know simple sentence simple the sentence which consists of only one independent clause is called a simple sentence right so it consists of only one independent clause right only one independent clause right so for example i am a teacher right i am a teacher you see i am a teacher there is a finite verb am finite verb written as ft okay this is a finite verb am so i am a teacher is also a finite clause right is also a finite clause and you see i am a teacher mu jane shikshak ate it express a complete meaning so this clause can be a independent clause so you have already learned in your last session what is an independent clause a, a finite clause which express complete meaning is called a independent clause so i am a teacher is an independent clause and in a simple sentence there is one independent clause right so i am a teacher is an independent clause and this independent clause will be a simple sentence are bujhi parchu na bujhi parunu jeu vakya re gotie matra 
इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉज थाए सही क्लॉज टी को हमें सिंपल सेंटेंस कहला वो प्रीवियस क्लास में तुम को भले रे बुझी छी राइट सो लेट्स डिस्कस कंपाउंड सेंटेंस राइट लेट्स डिस्कस कंपाउंड सेंटेंस राइट सो कंपाउंड सेंटेंस राइट सो टू स्टूडेंट्स ए कंपाउंड सेंटेंस कंसिस्ट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू और मोर देन टू इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉजेस राइट इट इज कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू और मोर देन टू इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉजेस आई सी मींस इंडिपेंडेंट सी एस मींस क्लॉजेस राइट इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉजेस लेट्स डिस्कस द कंपाउंड सेंटेंस with some examples so suppose i am writing a sentence priti join the dance competition and she on the and see on the has price right you see in this sentence here you see priti join the dance competition is a finite clause because there is a finite verb join it is a finite clause finite clause means fc right so you see priti join the dance competition artha so, priti nurtya pratijogita re ansha grahan kala so this finite clause express a complete meaning so it is a uh, independent clause also and it is also a independent clause right i see means independent clause it is also a independent clause artha bode swadhina vakya it is a is a sentence right it a niche gotiye kon sampurna artha prakash karuthiya vakya and you can also say it it is a simple sentence eta modhe bode simple sentence hi padiba tumhe purpur padila a simple sentence is a is an independent clause right so priti joins the dance competition is a finite clause and also is a independent clause right another here there is a another clause that is she won the first prize right here you see she is in the bracket because here she is silent we may write the word she or may not write this pronoun she right so it is silence here right so you see in this clause here own is the finite verb right so this she or own the first tense is a finite clause and own the first you own the first prize means say prathama puraskar jitila it express a complete meaning so it is also a independent clause really it is also a independent clause and you see these so in the sentence you see there are two independent clauses one is with is join the dance competition and the second is own the first prize or she own the first prize okay and another thing you see there is a word and there is a word and which combines the two clauses or the two independent clauses or finite clauses so here this and is called a coordinating conjunction right and is called a coordinating conjunction 
or we can say it coordinator right coordinator so the word or the conjunction which combines the clauses in a compound sentence is called a coordinating conjunction or coordinator you have to remember it right so another thing you see here priti joined the dance competition and she won the first prize is a compound sentence and here priti joined the dance competition is called a main clause is called a main clause right is called a main clause and the second is she or won the first prize is called a coordinating clause is called a coordinating clause right in a compound sentence the first independent clause is called a main clause here priti joined the dance competition is main clause and the second c on the first phrase is called a coordinating clause right we also said there are two coordinating clauses one is priti joined the dance competition and the second is c on the first phrase but in a compound sentence the first is always a the first is always called a main clause right so let's discuss another example of a compound sentence how to see the compound sentence ra udaharana in same format re priti join the dance competition but he did not get any prize right you see priti joined the dance competition is a finite clause and also a independent clause okay finite clause and also a independent clause because it express a complete meaning priti dance competition re anusha grahan kala and sorry she okay she can be here silent so here you see she did not or did not get any prize is the second clause of this compound sentence okay so it is also a finite clause and also a independent clause right because she did not get any prize or did not get any prize say konosi puraskara paila nahi it express a complete meaning right and if you, you see and the this there are these two clauses will be called coordinating clauses right priti joined the dance competition is a coordinating clause and she did not get any prize is also a coordinating clause but the first clause priti joined the dance competition is called a main clause right mc mc means main clause and she or did not get any prize is coordinating clause right is coordinating clause coordi meeting clause right so the students here you see what what is the coordinator okay what is the coordinator or coordinating conjunction right so the students you know a compound sentence in a compound sentence there are two or more than two coordinating clauses or independent clauses and they are joined by coordinators or coordinating conjunction right dear students 
you know there are various coordinating conjunction which are used in a compound sentence you have to know this so the student you see i have a piece you see there are various coordinating conjunction there are yet still nevertheless or or else otherwise therefore right then so for besides these are all coordinating conjunction which are used in a compound sentence right so dear students and and what i have already given you examples right so you see the past sentence is yet he is not yet he is not rich yet he is happy right so you see in this compound sentence there is a coordinator or coordinating conjunction this is yet right you can see it tumhe dekhi parthiwa gote coordinating conjunction yet achi and you have to know comma or semicolon can be used before coordinating conjunction in some compound sentence right and you see before the coordinator yet we use a comma right he is not rich yet he is a happy in this sentence he is not rich is a independent clause or coordinating clause he is happy is a coordinating clause right uh, and also he is not is is a main clause and he is happy is a subordinating uh, sorry coordinating clause right are pile mane he is not rich e vacuity he is not rich ho ji amara gotiye independent gotiye main clause au he is happy ho ji gotiye coordinating clause right so dear students you will follow your grammar textbook page number 18 and if you have any doubts you can write me in the comment box right so dear students you see some coordinating conjunctions right there are also another coordinating conjunction which are called correlative conjunction right co relative correlative conjunction or coordinators sorry correlatives right there is called correlative conjunction or correlatives so some examples are not only but also not only but also okay either or neither nor both and right so you see these conjunctions or correlative conjunctions are used in compound sentences right they are used in pairs we cannot use not only on in a sentence we have to use not only but also both right ame kebal not only ut a sentence lagai pariba nahi ame jodi lagai ba not only but also ubhay ko lagai ba tenu all these four conjunctions are correlative conjunctions and they are used in pairs in compound sentences so dear students you can see some examples of compound correlatives conjunctions in some compound sentence okay so you see the fact is not only but also okay he not only like the house but also but it here not only and but also the correlative coordinator is used in pair in this compound sentence so you can follow your grammar book 
to learn about this correlative coordinators right so dear students let's discuss we have completed compound sentence then discuss about complex sentence right complex sentence right dear students first you have to know about complex sentence right so complex sentence the sentences which have one independent clause and one or more than one dependent clause or subordinating clause is called a complex sentence right so in a complex sentence there is one independent clause right independent clause plus one or more dependent this mean dependent clause or which is called a subordinate clause right subordinate clause dear students let's discuss complex sentence with some examples right so dear students suppose a sentence i am certain of i am certain of completing the work today right another sentence i am certain that i shall complete the work today right so the students look at this two pair of sentence right i am certain of completing the work today monishtita je kam ki aaj se so hobo to sentence two i am certain that i shall complete the work today monishtita je kam ki aaj samporna hebo so dear students you see this two uh, or uh, the pair of sentence express the same meaning saman artha pariprakash karu chanti but you see in the first sentence there is only one finite clause right there is only one finite clause the finite clause is here am the finite clause is here am and in the second sentence you see i am certain that i shall complete the work today so here there is a finite verb am so this is also a finite clause i am certain is a finite clause and another you see that i shall complete the work today here you see here shall is the finite verb so there is so that i shall complete the work today is also a finite clause so you see the two sentence express the same meaning but in sentence 1 there is only one finite clause and in sentence 2 there is two finite clause right and another thing you see i am short of and another thing you see there is a non finite verb right complete okay so there is also a non finite clause right so let's discuss the second sentence i am certain that i shall complete the work today so you see the first finite clause i am certain artha so, mu nischit che mu nischit mu nischit achi so it express a complete meaning so it is a so it is a 
इंडिपेडेंट ब्रांच राइट सो इट इज ए इंडिपेंडेंट ब्रांच यह हो गए स्वाधीन वाक्य राइट सो अनादर थिंग यू सी दैट आई शाल कंप्लीट द वर्क टुडे जे मोरो काम आज शेष करी इट कैन नॉट एक्सप्रेस ए कंप्लीट मीनिंग सो इट एक्सप्रेस इट इट हैज टू एक्सप्रेस द कंप्लीट मीनिंग इट हैज टू डिपेंड ऑन द फर्स्ट क्लॉज यदि द सेकंड क्लॉज की गुडे संपूर्ण अर्थ प्रकाश करबा को चाहिबो ये आई एम सर्टेन प्रथम क्लॉज ऊपर डिपेंड करबा को पड़िबो बट इट इट इज सेल्फ कैन नॉट एक्सप्रेस ए कंप्लीट मीनिंग से नीचे कोन से संपूर्ण अर्थ प्रकाश करि पारु नाही सो दैट आई शैल कंप्लीट द वर्क टुडे इज कॉल्ड ए डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज राइट डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज मींस दिस इट इज आल्सो ए फाइनाइट क्लॉज एंड आल्सो ए डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज राइट सो हियर दिस डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज इज कॉल्ड ए सबऑर्डिनेट क्लॉज यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज इज कॉल्ड ए सबऑर्डिनेट क्लॉज राइट you have to remember this name subordinate clause right this so that i shall complete the work today cannot express a complete meaning so it is a dependent clause or a subordinate clause right and another thing you see here the subordinate clause starts with a word that so here that is called a subordinate right that is called a subordinate right you see so here that is called a subordinate right so a subordinating clause always starts with a subordinate right so dear students so this sentence will be a complex sentence because there is a independent clause and there is also a subordinating clause okay so dear students another thing you have to remember and know which is important for your hsc exam so you see the first clause or the independent clause of a complex sentence is called a main clause is called a main clause you have to remember is called a main clause right so i am certain here is main clause and that i shall complete the work today is called a subordinate clause because it starts with a subordinate it called a subordinate subordinate clause subordinate clause right dear students let's discuss the complex sentence with another examples to understand in a better way right am i out ke bhale re bujhiba aur uti udaharan madhyam re students students who work hard succeed in the examination right exam right you see first we have to identify the two clauses right the first clause is students succeed in the exam succeed in the examination right and the second is who work hard who work work who work hard right the second is who work hard so dear students we divide this complex sentence into two clauses first is students succeed in the exam the second clause is who work hard let's understand these two clauses look at the first clause students succeed in the exam so you see it is a finite clause because there is a finite verb succeed 
ओके एंड आल्सो स्टूडेंट सक्सीड इन द एग्जाम छात्र छात्री माने परीक्षा रे कृतो कार्य करन राइट सो इट इज आल्सो ए इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉज इट एक्सप्रेस ए कंप्लीट मीनिंग एंड अनदर थिंग यू सी हु वर्क जेउ माने कठिन परिश्रम करंती केउ माने करंती इटी doesn't express a complete meaning so it is a dependent clause and it is also a finite clause because here is a finite verb what so so this clause examine this clause this clause so who are that is a finite clause and here you see it is an independent dependent clause right dependent clause okay so this dependent clause is also called a subordinate clause here sc right sc means subordinate clause right subordinate clause you see so in this sentence student succeed in the exam is is the independent clause okay who are tied is the subordinate clause sc so another thing you have to understand the first sentence or the first independent clause of a complex sentence is called a main clause is called a main clause mc right so dear students so students who are hard succeed in the exam here there is two clauses the first clause is independent clause and the second clause is dependent clause who what had is a dependent clause which is called a subordinate clause right and the first clause student succeed student succeeding in the exam examination is called a main clause right so dear students this sentence must be a complex sentence sentence because it has a independent clause or main clause and it has also a dependent clause and subordinating clause and here you see the subordinating clause starts with a subordinate verb right this is who so here who is called a subordinator who is called a subordinator right dear students in complex sentence there are different subordinators which are used to construct complex sentence which that there are another subordinate that who where who is it etc right so these are subordinators we will discuss in the details about the subordinators in our next grammar topics right so dear students so what is a complex sentence a complex a sentence which consists of one independent clause or main clause and one or more subordinate clause or dependent clause is called a complex sentence राइट जे हम वाक्य रे गोटिए इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉज थाए बा मेन क्लॉज थाए बा ता कोडिया कहबा स्वाधीन वाक्य थाए एवं गोटिए किबा एकाधिक सबर्डिनेट क्लॉज और इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉज बा उरिया जा के पराधीन वाक्य थाए बा खंड वाक्य थाए सेही वाक्य को हमें कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंस कहिबे राइट एंड यू अनदर थिंग यू हैव टू रिमेंबर द कॉम्प्लेक्स द सबर्डिनेट क्लॉज ऑलवेज स्टार्ट्स विथ ए सबर्डिनेट राइट सो दे स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी हैव कंप्लीटेड कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंस दे स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स डिस्कस ऑल दिस सेंटेंस विथ ए सेंटेंस डायग्राम राइट sentence diagram
Okay, dear students, you know you know in some sentences there are one words, right? In some sentences there are more than one words, right? More than one words. You have already studied, okay? More than one clause. If there is one clause and this clause is independent clause, okay? Independent clause. This clause is called a simple sentence, right? Simple sentence, right? And if there is more than one clause, it is maybe one independent clause or two or more independent clause or coordinate clauses, right? Independent clause or coordinate. This is called compound sentence. This is called compound sentence, right? And the third thing, more than one clause, one independent clause or main clause, and one or more subordinate clause, SC, is called a complex sentence, right? It's called a complex sentence. Dear students, look at this diagram. Sentence are divided into two types according to clause. If there is only one independent clause, this will be a simple sentence. If there are more than one clause and this more than one clauses, if they are independent clause, that will be a compound sentence and if in this sentence there is only one main clause or independent clause and one or more subordinate clause, this sentence will be called a complex sentence, right? So dear students, let's make a difference or similarity between compound sentence and complex sentence. You know, in a compound sentence, there are two or more independent clauses or coordinate clauses. But in a compound sentence, there is only one independent clause or main clause. Right? And with this one main clause and independent clause, there is one or more subordinate clause. Right? And you know the compound sentence. In compound sentence, the clauses are joined with the coordinators or coordinating conjunctions and the in a complex sentence the subordinating clause always starts with a subordinator right so dear students now i have completed my class i have already discussed exclamatory sentence Compound sentence and complex sentence. Right? I think at home you have to solve from activity um, from your book from from activity 5 to 8. Right? From activity 5 to 8. Right? If you face any doubts you can write me in your comment box, right? In my comment box. Okay. So take care and good wishes for your upcoming HSC exam 2021. Thank you all who are watching my class. So now my class is over.